Hey, Carty Peeps, it's Angel Holt and Angel Holt Designs. I'm feeling much, much better. I think a week and a half off of re to recoup um, has really, really helped. Uh, today, I'm going to teach you how to do a card. Um, and this is using my fabulous favorite adhesive, Xyron. And we are working with Lawn Fawn uh, Clear Stamp Sets. And I am working with Summer Charm. And Summer Charm is a mason jar where you can put things inside the mason jar or label the mason jar. A sentiment has to and from or br you brighten my day. Just a lot of cute little elements um, in the card. I'm using some paper from a Prima paper stack called Sun Kisses. Um, it looks very summery to me with the beautiful blues and yellows and uh, sunflowers and everything so um, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to put a card together using this I'm using a six and a half by four and a half uh, card base using a yellow piece of cardstock um, yes it's a bright yellow uh, but and this is a soft yellow but it does have some bright yellow elements in it so I am wanting to bring those out. Now I'm going to show you a tip I learned. Um, when you want to do a mat, okay, right here you go to the corner and you determine how big you want your mat. So as you see here, I want um, probably about an eighth or less showing of the yellow based card. Now once I've figured that out, I'm going to flip it over like so and I'm going to make my marks like that okay now I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to run it through my cutter And if you bring it back to your card, like so, you have the perfect mat, like that. See? Isn't that awesome? I like that little tip. Alright. Um, and if you want to show just a little bit more, which I'm going to you go back and you just take off a little bit on the top and one of the sides like that and there you go beautiful see I love it love it okay I gotta fix the camera all right, now I'm going to run um, this piece through my Xyron Create a Sticker Max. Um, these sticker makers are amazingly awesome when it comes to making cards and any little thing you want adhesive for. You just give it a firm press. Like so. And there you have a huge, nice adhesive sticker. Look at that. Beautiful. And you just take your finger and you rub off if there's any excess adhesive on the side it rubs right off beautifully and there you go I love it now the next thing I'm going to do is um, this paper come with um, 
some note cards or little labels. And I'm going to cut one of these out. And I think I'm going to use this one here. Okay. Just cut it down. going to cut it down as well. I love Prima's papers because one, they're absolutely stunning and two, um, they give you a lot of elements to work with. Now, the next element for my card is going to be another smaller square and let me set that aside. I am going to use this butterfly, but I don't want to use I want to use this background paper. Oh, oops. Okay. So I'm going to cut one a little bit smaller. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to cut it at about three, no, three and a half. We're going to cut it at three and a half. Okay, and then we're going to cut it to, this card is about six and a half. So we're going to cut it at about five. Okay. All right. Then we're going to mat that with um, some yellow cardstock as well. Again, what you're going to do is you're going to just kind of, on this case, I'm just going to eyeball it here. I might cut it down a little bit more. Let's see. I don't want as much. There we go. I always eyeballed everything um, with my crafting. Some things I have to sit down and, you know, actually measure, but most of the time. I'm eyeballing it. There we go. Alright, again, you're going to run this through. Um, the sticker maker. Create a sticker max. You're just going to stick it right through here and turn the handle and tear it off. Like that. And you're going to peel away and adhere that down. I'm going to trim it down just a little bit. I don't want as much yellow. There we go. Okay. Now that's going to go there. 
then on this one, I'm just going to snip off just a little bit more. Make a little tag. And then you're just going to punch a hole. Um, where's my hole punch? Where's my hole punch? I get my daughter in here and she uses my stuff. Oh, there it is. My stuff. I need to get a different um, hole punch. There we go. Beautiful. Now I'm going to pick out some ink and uh, you want to ink your edges. Um, this is optional, but you'll want to do that. And I'm going to use Donna Salazar's um, color box vintage. It's like a yellow vintage gold. And it will look beautiful with this paper collection. And I'm going to ink the edges of the tag. I always bring my ink pad to my paper. Some people do it the other way, but I feel you have more control when your ink pad is the tool. Okay, we're going to ink all the edges of this as well to soften that brightness of that yellow. going to do is pop dot I'm going to put this in behind there and kind of turn this uh, caddy corner and I'm going to use my Zyron mega runner to put the um, tag down but before I do that I want to put some uh, ribbon And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather up some uh, ribbons and everything, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, ladies, I've done some preparation. I went ahead and stamped out uh, using the Lawn Fawn uh, stamp set Summer Charm. I stamped out the mason jar, and then I stamped out the, ta the front of it uh, using the other piece of paper that I had pulled out this and then I went and cut out a bunch of the butterflies in that paper and they're all right here I cut the tag out I cut a heart out and I've gathered up some uh, trims and some beautiful uh, laces that I want to use um, to put this card together so the first step I'm going to do is uh, this is just a piece of um, like uh, burlapy, it's not burlap, but uh, canvasy feel uh, ribbon, and I'm just going to fray the end by pulling some of the threads. But I'm going to make sure how. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can glue it flat like that, or you can fold it in half and feed it through the hole there like that and then take your tails and feed them through the loop and then gently give it a pull like so there we go cute cute and you're just going to fray the edges like that Alright, 
Now I'm going to use the uh, Zyron Mega Runner and I'm going to run some adhesive down the edges here and down the middle like that. Okay, so be aware of where your card, the way your card opens. Set this to the side. And um, I wanted to share with you also, um, I got the inspiration of this card off of Pinterest and I got it from Designs by Sharon. Um, that And it's inkwooddesigns.com. The link will be in the description box down below. Um, I saw her beautiful work and I was inspired to create this card similar to hers. I'm changing it up a bit, but hers is just is beautiful and I had to simply make it one myself so now I put the pop dots on the back of the piece of card uh, matted card stock and I'm just going to lay it kind of like I'm going to turn mine a little bit like that Okay, just press everything down and what that does it just gives you a little bit of dimension on the card okay so basically the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put some pop dots on the back of your mason jar here and I have pop dots flying everywhere I'm just using a small um, pop dot I'm not using nothing really thick so I'm put one more right there and you're just going to remove Now what I want to do, because I'm going to put some ribbon across here, now I'm going to pop dot the little jar, make sure I get it lined up the way I want. Now what I do to line mine up is I put it against my table like this, because it kind of helps me get my bearings. Because when you put something catacorny, you know, twisted, it's real easy to get your um, elements crooked as well. And I don't want that. Okay, so good. All right. Now it's starting to build the jar. Here is the label. And there we go. All right, so these little elements here, um, this is a heart from one of the tags, and I am going to ink it with some of the yellow. Ink. Like that. And I'm just going to put it, put the little heart right there, and I'm going to use some hot glue to do so. There we go. Now the little butterflies. Um, I'm going to use my Zyron sticker maker here, and I'm going to put them face up. And all you're going to do is pull this and you make them into little bitty stickers. My friends and I call this the little X, but it's actually the Teresa Collins one inch um, sticker maker. 
Okay, you just give it a firm press so you can get even adhesion and peel away that. Now, my jar is going to look like the butterflies are coming out of it. So, I'm going to put one butterfly there. I'm going to make it look like a butterfly is in the jar. I'm going to put one right there. And I'm going to put one right on the jar. Probably turn it just a little bit like that. Isn't it cute? They're so cute. And, um, hmm. Let's see. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ink up this. This is the label. Okay, and I'm going to use um, the sentiment here. It says, you brighten my day. put it on my acrylic block and I'm using the Tim Holtz black soot mini stamper pad okay awesome Turned out beautiful. I'm getting better at stamping the more I do it. I used to not use stamps at all. I always made my, I printed it out because I couldn't afford stamps for a very long time. And now I'm, a, I'm just, I have to have stamps now. Okay, on this one, I'm going to use um, this real pretty blue one. And this is some lace trim by We Are Memory Keepers. I got this in Scrap and Madge's um, embellishment kit she does every three months or so. Remove the tape there. Yeah. There we go. Then I pulled out a piece of this trim here that I had in my stash. And I also pulled out a really pretty um, flower. And I don't want to use my good scissors to snip that off. Where are my scissors? Sorry, ladies. There we go. All right. So now what we're going to do is I have an idea for the rim of that jar, and it just hit me. I had set this out. This is American Crafts um, twine. Primo, and it's a beautiful yellow and white stripe, and I want to add a little more um, character to the jar. Well, if I can get it open. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to take a little bit of this twine here. Oh my gosh, work for me, please. There we go. Okay, so since I pop dotted it, I can just simply 
keep going in behind there like this and just keep building like that and then tie it in a knot right here to the side and then tie it in a bow now trim off the ends there oh shoot I knew I'd do that untie it Are you never mind I'm not gonna fool with it with a bow because I'll get frustrated there we go that's just as cute okay now I just noticed something they have this um little thing sentiment that says thanks and I think it would look great right there on the front of that jar I'm gonna put it on there There we go. Beautiful. See? It's cute, cute. Alright, now we're just going to apply our laces. And I want mine kind of frayed out on each end. So I'm just going to put some hot glue along the edge there Just trim it up a little bit then I'm going to put this one right on top using my detailed tip glue gun which applies a very tiny amount of hot glue okay then let's see I think I'm going to trim this down and I'm going to show you why. There we go. put that down right there like so put this down like that and see there 
I made it loop up. And then I'm going to put this real pretty flower. Just right there. Now, let's see. Hmm. I think this little bumblebee on here is really cute. I don't know. I might put a few little bumblebees around. Well, there we go. We'll do one more. Okay. And I think to get some texture or some fun to the heart, they have this little round piece here. You know, just kind of give it some fun little texture. This is a cute little set. And it's by Lawn Fawn. Now for a finishing touch, I'm going to take my marker here. And I'm just going to make like little faux stitching lines along the edges here. you see here and then let's see kind of outline just a little bit around each little butterfly nothing just to make them pop a little bit and then we'll put a little antenna right there you know. You know, this is just a little fun way to dress up the butterflies. Just use a marker. There you go. Now they really pop off the card. Cute, cute. Um, and my finishing touch. Uh, let's see. Oh, 
I'll add a few um, pearls here. Okay, I'm going to use my Marvy Jewel Picker to pick up. First, I got to figure out where I want to put my pearl. And put one right there. Well, I've gotten dirt on it. It's a big cute card for a friend. But be sure to check out um, inkwooddesigns.com and look at her card and gather inspiration from her as well and just have fun with it. I think it turned out super cute. I did. Awesome. So, um, you can find the link below where you can purchase all of your Zyron uh, items. Um, I use the Zyron Create a Sticker Max Machine. I also used my um, Zyron One Inch Sticker Maker. Um, and you with these two and I use my Mega Runner um, it's always great to have the right tools because it makes all your projects flow like butter and to come out as cute as this did and um, um, also check out Lawn Fawn um, where you can order a bunch of their wonderful photopolymer clear stamp sets and this one again is called Summer Charm and it has um, all the elements to make cute little mason jar type projects as you see here with the sentiments you brighten my day thanks and to and from so if you have any questions let me know be sure to uh, follow Zavon's blog run over there and check out all the other designers wonderful projects that they have done with Lawn Fawn uh, stamp sets and uh, until next crafty tutorial ladies Thank you so much. Bye-bye.